Hello everybody and welcome to the video notes for our first day of reviewing for the interim and the focus of today's review is on inequalities. Most of what we're going to be going over today are things that we have already learned um, but maybe you forgot it because it was a bit of a while ago. Let's check our opening exercise first. If Brian's age is more than 20 that means he could be anything that's a bigger number than 20, like 27, 30, or 52. If Pedro weighs less than 160, his weight could be any number that's smaller than 160, like 76, 105, or 159. If a pair of shoes costs at most $74, that means its value must be 74 or more, or 74 at or less, sorry. So $20 $60 works, or even $74 exactly works, as long as it's not more than 74 Last one, if the temperature will be at least 63 degrees, it could be equal to 63, or bigger, so like 70 or 105. The first symbol that we're going to review is this right here. So draw that in. That's the symbol for greater than. And the way that you can remember it is, remember the alligator always eats the bigger number. So it's eating the x. That means x has to be bigger than 3. And so in words, what we would say is, this symbol means x is greater than 3. And the way that we would draw this on a number line is we would put a open circle. Make sure you don't fill it in. This is very important. An open circle at 3. And then since x can be any number that's bigger than 3, you draw an arrow like that. So it's all the numbers that are bigger than 3, but not including 3. It does not include 3. That's why we leave the circle in the middle open. Some other key terms that also mean greater than are more than. So greater than, more than. And if x is greater than 3, some possible values for x could be 4, or 10, or 256. Those are all bigger than 3. Let's move on to the next one. It's going to be the other way. This symbol here, and remember, the alligator always eats the bigger number. It's not actually supposed to have the teeth, I'm just drawing in the teeth so that you can visualize the alligator. So if 3 is the bigger number, this means that x is less than 3. So in words we would say x is less than 3. The way that we would draw it on a number line is we do an open circle at 3, and it's all the numbers less than that, so we would draw it in like this. And some other words that might mean less than is fewer than. Or below. Oh, actually, you know what? That reminds me. Let's add above. To greater than. And so some possible values for x, if it is less than 3, it could be 2, 2 is less than 3. It could be 0, 0 is less than 3. It could also be a negative number, because all negative numbers are less than 0, so that means they're also less than 3. So something like negative 7 is also less than positive 3. Let's check out the next one. And that's going to be this symbol like this. So it looks pretty similar to the greater than symbol, but there's a line underneath it. And when you, there's a line underneath it, that means that 
x is greater than or equal to 3. And the way we would draw this on a number line is instead of an open circle, you're going to put a closed circle. You're going to fill in the circle and then include all the numbers greater than 3. Because in this instance, if there's an underline below the greater than, it could be 3 or any number bigger than that. So another way that we can say this is at least 3. So if the number is at least 3, it would be greater than or equal to 3. So some possible values for x in this case, it could be 3, because it could be equal to 3. Or it could be 7, or 174. Last one. We're going to go the other way. And I'm sure you can guess that that symbol means that x is less than or equal to. We'll put a closed circle in for 3, because it could, it could be 3, and it's all the numbers also less than 3. Another way, oh, another way of saying this is at most 3. And some possible values, it could be 3, right? because it's less than or equal to, or it could be 0, or any negative number, like negative 9. Okay, now that we have these four symbols and we know what they mean, let's try some problems. Let's look at number one. Right here. It says to select all the sets of numbers that are possible values for x in the inequality x is less than negative 5. Anytime that you're working with a problem that involves an inequality, it might help to draw a number line. So let's do that up here. I'm going to use this top part as a number line. And I'm going to put on negative 5. And so we know that x is going to be less than negative 5. right? The alligator eats the bigger number, so negative 5 is the bigger number, which means that x is smaller than that. So I'm going to do an open circle at negative 5, and then all the numbers left of that. So all the numbers less than negative 5. And you just go through each of these answer options one at a time and see if all three of those numbers are less than negative 5. So let's first look at a, positive 7, positive 8, positive 9. Well, if negative 5 is here, then like 0 would be here, and 7, 8, and 9 would be all the way over here. But we want all the numbers left of this. So it's not going to be a, negative 9, negative 8, negative 7. Well, if negative 5 is here, negative 6 would be here, negative 7 would be there, negative 8, and negative 9. Those are all less than or left of negative 5, which is what we want. So that one works. Negative 40, negative 30, negative 20. Well, now we're going even further negative, even more to the left. So those would also be less than negative 5. So that works too. Negative 7. OK, so negative 7 would be less than negative 5, because negative 7 would be right here. 0 is over here, though. 0 is to the right of negative 5, which means it's greater than negative 5. So 0 doesn't work. And 7 is even greater than that. So that doesn't work either. So B and C are our answers for this one. OK, now I'm going to have you try number 2 on your own. And this one is asking you for if x is greater than negative 2. If you need help, I can get you started by drawing out a number line. right? If 0 is here, negative 2 is here, and you want all the numbers to the right of negative 2 that are greater than negative 2. So let's pause, try that one on your own. And when you are done, you can resume the video. And we're going to be starting on the next page. All right. 
Now we're on page three, and we're going to look at number three. It says to consider the inequality that x is less than one. So we're going to be looking at fractions and determining if each of these fractions is less than positive one. And one tip that I want to give you is, at the top here, a fraction is greater than one if the numerator numerator is bigger than the denominator. So one example of that might be 7 fifths. This is bigger than 1 because 5 fifths is one whole and you're having 2 fifths on top of that. So if the numerator is bigger than the denominator, like this, 7 is bigger than 5, this fraction is bigger than 1. On the other side of that, a fraction is less than 1 if the numerator is smaller than or less than the denominator. So one example of this might be 5 sevenths. That's less than 1 because 7 sevenths is one whole, but you have less than that because you only have 5 out of the 7. The numerator is smaller than the denominator. Now that we have that knowledge, let's try to answer this problem. So we want all of the fractions that are less than 1. x is less than 1. Negative 3 fourths. Well, it's a negative number, so all negative numbers are less than 0. And 0 is definitely less than 1, so that works. 1 fifth. Well, the numerator is smaller than the, than the denominator. 5 fifths would be 1, so this is less than 1. Negative 7 thirds, same thing as a. It's a negative number, and we want everything less than 1, so all negative numbers work in this case. 4 thirds. Okay, we go back to our rule. If the numerator is bigger than the denominator, like in 4 thirds, it's bigger than 1. Because 3 thirds would be 1 whole, and we have more than that. Oops, sorry. So no. That one doesn't work. 15 ninths, exact same thing. The numerator is bigger than the denominator. 15 is bigger than 9. 9 ninths would be 1, so 15 ninths is even more than that. So this also doesn't work. So three yeses and then two noes. All right, now you should be able to try number four on your own. And this one is asking you, what are all the fractions that are less than one again? Go through those. Actually, my mistake, typo, sorry. This should say, what are all the ones that are greater than one? So what are all of the fractions that are greater than 1 for this set? Let's pause and try that on your own. And now you're resuming the video to check your work, or actually to move on. Let's look at number 5. In Alaska, the temperature was negative 27.4 degrees Fahrenheit. In Montana, the temperature was negative 22.5 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's asking us to write an equality that compares these two temperatures using the less than symbol or the greater than symbol. If that helps, you can draw a number line. And they're both going to be negative, so 0 is going to be furthest to the right. Negative 22.5, let's put that here. Negative 27.4, that's going further to the left and getting more negative, so that would be somewhere around here. Okay, so now when I compare these two, it's easier to think, okay, which one's less? Less is always further to the left. So the lowest one is going to be negative 27.4 and that's going to be less than this number which is to the right because greater is to the right negative 22.5 
So there's my inequality that compares those two numbers. Another correct answer is if you switched these and you said that negative 22.5 is greater than negative 27.4. That also works. All right, now you should be able to do number six on your own. And the last one that I'm going to show you through video notes is number seven. The only thing that's different about this one is the x is on the right side, so you just got to keep track. 14 is, this symbol means less than x. The alligator always eats the bigger number, so whatever x is, it has to be bigger than 14. So we go through each of these numbers and you pick what are all the values where x is greater than 14. Right, negative 30, is that greater than 14? Well, it's negative, so it's definitely not. Zero, is zero greater than 14? It is not. All right, so I think you get the hang of it. I'm gonna have you finish the rest of that one on your own. And you can continue working through this page, and then you can try the problems on the next page as well. You can keep your computer at your desk so that if you finish early, uh, then you can have a brain break.